hello listener in our previous video we have discussed about substitution method and what are the steps you will follow by using your substitution method for hello listener in our previous video we have discussed about substitution method and what are the steps you will follow by using your substitution method for finding a solution for a pair of linear equation in two variables let's do some more examples to get a clear picture how to use substitution method in finding solution for a pair of linear equations in two variables let's do some examples in okay let's do some example solve using the equation by substitution method substitution method so what is your equation 2x plus 3y equal to 9 4x plus 6y equal to 18 this is your equation suppose if you didn't get the equation in that manner we satisfy the condition what is the condition for pair of linear equation in two variable is a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 equal to 0 a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 is equal to 0 okay this is the condition for a pair of linear equation in two variable okay 2x plus 3y equal to 9 4x plus 6y equal to 18 okay but this equation is in their form it satisfy the condition next you are taking this equation as first this equation as second so what your next step is you have to take any one of the equation so better take equation whose coefficient is smaller uh this coefficient is smaller when compared to your equation 2 so i am taking okay i am taking first equation 2x plus 3y equal to 9 so what is the value of x x is equal to 9 minus 3y by 2 that is the value of x what is the value of x equal to 9 minus 3y by 2 then put put value of x in equation 2 so you got the x value so you put the x value in equation 2 what is your equation 2 4x plus 6y equal to 18 4x plus 6y equal to 18 okay so what is your x value 4 into 9 minus 3y upon 2 plus 6y equal to 18 this is your equations so what you are doing 2 ones are 2 2 2 is a 4 2 9 is a 18 2 3 is a 6y plus 6y equal to 18 6y 6y is cancel you are not getting the y value you are not getting the y value directly you are getting 8 equal to 8 18 is equal to 18 if you are sending 8 in that side you will get as 0 means you are not getting any value okay when we are not able to find the value of a variable because of variable terms cancel out this type of solution is called as infinite solution you are not getting the value of a variable you are not getting the value of y and you are cancelling the term you are cancelling the term whenever you are cancelling the term and you are not getting the value of a variables means it this type of solution is called as infinite solution this type of solution is called as infinite solution when we are not able to find the variable value because of variable term cancel out this type of solution is called as infinite solution okay 
let's do one more example so that you will get clear understanding of the topic of substitution method okay we are taking one example as x plus 2y equal to 4 2x plus 4y equal to 12 this is your first equation this is your second equation check whether that equation satisfy the condition of pair of linear equation in two variables or not uh, okay we have to satisfy that condition we have to do in that manner after satisfying the condition you have to take any one of the equation i am taking equation one basically whichever coefficient is smaller you should take that one so that it will be easy for you to solve the problem here the coefficient is smaller when compared to your second equation here the coefficient is 2 here the coefficient is 4 means this equation have smaller coefficients so i am taking first equation x plus 2y equal to 4 x equal to 4 minus 2y 4 minus 2y that is the value of your x after finding the value of x you should put the value of x in equation 2 ok what is your equation to 2x plus 4y equal to 12 what is your x value 2 into 4 minus 2y plus 4y equal to 2 2 4 is 8 ok 2 2 is 4 plus 4y equal to 12 4y 4y cancel so what you are getting 8 equal to 12 in our previous example also you are not getting the value but you will get the total value as 0 ok you got it total value as 0 means when you cannot find the value of x or y because of cancellation of variable and you get a false statement means 8 is not equal to 2 well means you are getting a false statements it means that your solution is your false solution this is your false solution so means you got no solution ok you got no solution ok when you get no solutions means you can also say it is a inconsistent pair of linear equation inconsistent inconsistent pair of linear equation in two variables in two variables if you had any doubt regarding anything just drop your doubts in the comment box if you miss my previous video go to the noble educations for revise the previous videos okay